of Grand Valley State versus University of Wisconsin Platteville here at the Preston Ooh. Center on WKU's campus. We will have a 25 minute and 30 second second half. Grand Valley currently has a 3 0 lead, and we are about to get underway here in the second half. So, John, what did you take away from that first half? Let's talk about UWP, who I think we were both really impressed with. Yep. And not knowing much about coming into this tournament. Yeah, you know, so, you know, like you just said, we knew nothing about them coming in. You know, I've actually seen a lot of better court communication and teamwork than I would expect from a team that's only had two matches this entire year. Keep in mind, they've had two matches this entire year, haven't played in five months, yeah. and congratulations, you draw Grand Valley the first block yeah. at, on Saturday pool. Could not have a worse first round matchup. Exactly. But I like UWP being a little more aggressive and 16 Cypher with the kill early. I really like to try to get aggressive ball control early. 44 but, uh, got hit in the face there off the, the opening But rush. it was like a, it's a little, a little push shot. Yeah. Oh, and a great catch so there. A great catch from UWP. Great catch. On Trevor Nordberg. More importantly, that's one of UDSU's best players going out real early. Nice kill. Oh, my God. And Stoffel 11 with the kill. Stoffel having a great point so far. Yeah. Number 11 for UWP. There goes four, number four, Mark Ledecky. Ledecky goes Ledecky out. Ledecky out for UWP on a group team throw. But yeah, like I said, I've actually been really impressed from what I've seen from a team that's only played two games, two matches so far this season. And uh, 93 goes out there for yeah, UWP. 93, Eric Xander goes Xander out. Xander goes out for UWP. So we have two UWP players in jail right now, and I think maybe the same number for Grand Valley. They're, yeah, I think that's true. They're hiding under the uh, track right now, so we can't see the number of Grand Valley players in jail, but we think it's two. Cypher, he's got a good arm, too. Oh, uh, no, what is that? That's Higby. That's Higby, yeah. That's Higby, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the kid we're talking about. That's Higby. Oh, nice block by 24. Nice block by 24. That's Dalton Der Perstra. Dalton, I'm sorry. I'm trying to pronounce all those names right. That was a really... We'll just call him Dalton. Yeah, we'll call him Dalton. That was a really good uh, block by Dalton coming around his teammate. There's another kill. Another kill by Higby. Higby doing work at this point. And there goes up... Uh, Number eight, There goes Botch. eight. Yeah, and he's one of their best arms. So that's a, that's that hurts. Loss. That's a loss. Great dodge there by number 30. By uh, number 30, that's Jeremy Oni. Oni, nice dodge there. Uh, and an easy man. catch it's by 34. Gardner. Gardner there with the catch for Grand Valley. Oh, and there goes Higby, his blocker in front of him. I don't want to say left him out to dry, but... He's out now, dry, so yeah. he's the, he was left out to dry at yeah, least a little a bit. Huge loss. Nice pump fakes, though. Nice pump fakes, though. Uh, it's a good try by number 13. 13. At least he came around for his TV. And that's, uh, that's Nick Harding. Harding goes out there for UWP. Uh, and a catch there by Stoffel, number Stoffel, 11. number 11 goes out. I'm oh, sorry, Stoffel with the catch. Stoffel with the catch. And a block there by Stoffel. Yeah, block. Mark, you should know better than the throw here. Oh, that's a good try. Oh, it's Stoffel. Another catch by catch. Stoffel. Number 11. He's having an absolutely fantastic yeah, number 11, point. Joe Stoffel. 24 goes out. 24. That would be Dalton. Dalton. Dalton, Dalton. Dalton goes out. Dalton. We're sorry, Dalton. Good ball stop. No, no kill there. Nope. Good block by number 33 on Grand Valley. In charge. What kind of phone do you have? I have an Android. I think there may be an iPhone over there. It's. I think so. It goes. 
beautiful. I didn't want the extension cords up here. Number three for Grand Valley with the kill on 11, Stoffel. Stoffel, oh, that's a big loss. That's a huge loss. It's been great this point, though. 93 needs to step in there. Nice job by Xander stepping in right there to protect his teammate. Better late than never. That's Look, right. Better late than never. Oh, and it was an actually attempt at a catch there. 16 goes out. a good try. 16. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, 16. Uh, Dominic Cypher goes out. Cypher goes out there for UWP on that kill. Good try by Jeremy Oni. Oh, oh and a nice attempt to catch there. It takes a, out 62. That's a kill by number 17 for UWP. Um, Gen Jack Janens. Jensema. Jensema. These throws are always low. Always low every time. Goes for the feet. Can't catch with your feet. There goes number one, Oni. No, no, that, no, was, that was, it was a block for 24 there, yeah. Number 30, kind of being that like court admiral for UWP right now. Somebody's got to direct the troops yep. when your uh, leader uh -huh. goes down. And I know sometimes we don't talk about this stuff enough, uh, but uh, the it's a great kill. U UWP. I'm actually a little surprised don't have their entire jail team over, but there's one player for UWP, I don't know his number, but he's right next to Ryan Hinman who's refing, and he's helping to call out loud their shot clock, and I know that doesn't go in the stat book, but very helpful. it's extremely helpful, and I really wish a bunch of his teammates would step over and help him out, but he's doing a very good job. I'll, I'll get his name, I'll get his number. Great catch, a uh, great kill there by number 93, Sander, Sander for UWP. I've called his name a couple times today as He's well. He's had a nice point this uh, this point as well. Oh, oh, that's a kill as well. 44 goes out there for Grand Valley. Jensema with the kill, number 17 for UWP. teammate of theirs communicating that there's a ball back right now, which no one is. Yeah. UWP, if they watch this, just the one thing I would say to take from it is even when you're out, we try, we try to preach it. You're not out even when you're out. You yeah. gotta, gotta help your, you team gotta help out your teammates. Like, there's no one communicating that they have two balls back here on their back line, which could be very, very valuable. There's an out. He's attack. looking away. Number three for Grand Valley goes down there. Jen Sema, I believe, with the kill. Number 17. Yeah, that was 17. Yeah, it was actually Sema. That's close to the shot clock. they got to be careful here. But, yeah, UWP was down, I want to say, four players to 10 and about four straight outs. A little bit of luck involves some throws that I think Grand Valley knows they should have, but it hasn't been all luck, Dave. No. They've earned those couple kills that they've, they, they've had. It's, it counts It counts nonetheless, It right? counts nonetheless. It counts as a kill. It counts as a catch. Oh, it's a great catch by Oh, that, I thought that might have hit ground, but a great catch by Gardner there. 34 there for Grand Valley. Nope. 
GWP down to three players right now. Grand Valley has seven on the court. We got Oni. We got uh, Ledecky, I believe, number four. And it uh, looks like Xander just went out. So yep, UWP down to its final two players here. Great dodge great there. Block. Great dodge. I'm sorry, great dodge. You need yeah. Ledecky. Or lead key, maybe? I don't know. I'm telling you, man, UWP, though, they're not going out without a fight here. They really aren't. You have to admire the ability of any team to basically look into the eye of the juggernaut oh, and keep and fighting. It goes out, and that's the point. So, Grand Valley goes up 4 0 with 15 48 left in this second half. We will be back with point see. number five here in just a little bit. I'm